Good evening. I and my colleagues at the Friedrich Wilhelm von Junst Library of Forgotten Worlds would like to welcome you to our weekend news report, and thank you for listening to tonight's broadcast. I am Lector Finn J.D. John, cryptical reader at the von Junst Institute's Corvallis branch. It is good to have you with us tonight. You are perhaps aware that tonight is a full moon night here on the silent planet, and in the immediate vicinity of our Corvallis branch it has been coupled with a heat wave of no mean proportions. This has compelled the von Junst Institute's Department of Cryptometeorology to issue a rare but serious undead advisory for the region particularly as regards the vicinity of the lost civilization that lies beneath the floor of the Willamette Valley, which of course is the reason the Institute maintains a branch in that distant part of the world. As you no doubt know, extended hot weather risks the possibility that warmth may percolate through the hundreds of feet of silt that covered the lost civilization when the Missoula floods buried it 15,000 years ago. If that happens, the lost, who still inhabit those Stygian ruins so far beneath the surface of what we know today as the Willamette Valley, may find the strength to climb the thousands of steps that lead up from the tunnels in which they now live, if live is the right word, and emerge from their hidden mine shafts and cave mouths into the world of light and day. When you couple the stimulus of the heat with the diabolical influence of the full moon upon the lost, we have the potential for a very grave situation indeed. To reduce your risk of being found and <clears throat> recruited by one of the lost, our crypto-meteorologists recommend that you follow the basic safety guidelines which we all learned in school. Here is a quick reminder. First, Stay hydrated. You cannot effectively flee from an eternal and horrible doom unless your muscles are running at peak efficiency. For added protection, add a dash of garlic powder to each glass of water. Remember, do not drink holy water unless you know an attempt to possess your body is underway. Decades of that kind of abuse of holy waters have resulted in some strains of demons and malign spirits developing a resistance to all but the most potent and newly formulated holy waters. And by the same token, once you have started a course of holy water treatment, you must follow your alchemist's prescription carefully. Do not discontinue taking your scheduled drafts of holy water after you feel the demoniac presence wane. Remember, what does not kill or drive out the malevolent spirit only makes it stronger. Second, find shade. Just make sure the shade you find is not the entrance to a cave, mine shaft, cellar, downtown Portland, Shanghai tunnel, or other Stygian connection to a nether world. Third, Know the symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke so that you can distinguish between that and demoniac possession by a spirit of a lost one, who, as you know, occasionally wear out their bodies and must roam the land looking for new ones. We cannot be too hard on them, cryptical scholars. After all, if you were 15,000 years old, you'd probably want a new body too. However, the treatment regimen for heat exhaustion is very different from that prescribed for demoniac possession. Drinking unconsecrated liquids and lying down in the shade could save your life in the event of heat exhaustion, but will be of little help against an attempt at diabolical possession of your body and eternal imprisonment of your soul. Know the symptoms and stay safe. Fourth, you may be tempted to cool off by visiting a local swimming hole. If you do, be sure you are out of the water before the sun goes down. This, of course, is standard advice for any full moon night, but with the lost ones potentially roaming the land, it's particularly important tonight. Finally, you should arm yourself. If you already own a solid silver dagger, keep it with you at all times. If you do not, consider purchasing one today before sundown. If you own a revolver, purchase at least 20 rounds of silver bullets for it and carry it in your pocket today. Remember, should you be forced to slay a lost one, that its spirit will try to force itself upon you or another onlooker to obtain a new body by demoniac possession. 
Be ready with a flask of holy water in case further intervention is necessary. And a word to you cheapskates, don't scrimp on quality when stocking your holy water cabinet. Above all, cryptical scholars, be safe. On an unrelated note, do not forget that Pledge Week is coming next week and you have only until Monday night to take advantage of our special Thonbuster Premium. Pick up your telephone and call in your pledge of 666 Köln marks or more and we will rush you a digital recording of the ancient ritual at the Blackstone at Strugoikavar. Hurry, this offer won't last. As for your donation, good news, we now accept PayPal. Or you can bring your gold to the library in person by coming to Dusseldorf on a clear moonless night, renting or purchasing a Roman trireme, loading your gold on it, and silently forcing the galley slaves to row it down the Rhine until you see the great stone tower rising from its eastern banks. Good night, cryptical scholars, and as always, I wish you undead free dreams.